Greetings everybody. Guess where I am? Well, you probably see from the title that I'm in Singapore and this is very exciting because I've never been here before. Basically yesterday was the longest travel day of my life, I think. I think we were probably traveling for 30 hours straight. So that was exhausting and kind of insane. I was just on autopilot for most of that, but thankfully all of that is over. We arrived at the hotel at like four in the morning because our connecting flight from Hong Kong was delayed by three hours. So that was really great, but it doesn't matter because we're here now and it's so hot outside i'm so happy because you guys probably know i'm from canada and it's not very warm there right now i mean november in canada is not it's not hot girl summer anymore you know but in singapore it's still hot girl summer so i've got my cute hot girl outfit on which i will show you guys in just a second and yeah we have a fun week planned and it's really exciting because i'm actually here with revolve we've got some revolve events i'm gonna take you guys to so i'm really excited for that this is my first time traveling with a brand and i'm just so excited and thankful for this opportunity so thank you to you guys for all of your love and your support because you allow me to experience stuff like this and it's just absolutely unreal so thank you so much i love you guys so much um but yeah, so today we're just taking a chill. I think we, in total we probably slept like two or three hours last night. Oddly enough, this morning I feel okay. I think I slept like quite a bit on the airplanes actually, but yeah. Today I feel okay. I feel energized for now. I feel like the jet lag will kick in in the afternoon. That's usually how it goes for me. But yeah, I'm excited to go and explore and eat. And then once we get tired of shopping and eating, I think we're going to come back to the hotel and they have a pool here. I forgot to mention, but I'm staying at the Intercontinental Hotel and it is absolutely beautiful, stunning. I feel like I'm in Europe when I'm in this hotel, so I'm loving it here. They have a pool. We're going to go check it out. It's like 30 degrees outside. Let's get going. How well you guys can see but this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing this set from tiger mist it's just this off the shoulder top with this matching long skirt and the skirt is cute because it's got this ruching detail here and you can kind of adjust how high you want it to sit and then i just have slippers on right now but i think i'll be wearing my i think i'll just pair it with sambas because i actually didn't bring any sandals on this trip now I'm going to just carry my daily bag, which right now for me is my little Jacquemus Le Bambi Moo bag. Yesterday when I was at the Hong Kong International Airport, there was this shop with a bunch of Miffy stuff and I just had to pick up a couple items. So let me show you real quick. So the first and most important thing that I bought at the shop with all the Miffy stuff is a miffy lamp i hesitated on this so much the last time i saw it i saw it once in hawaii and then later on in asia and each time i kept on hesitating to buy it i just felt like i didn't have enough room for it in my suitcases and stuff but this time i'm like you know what i need to just get it because it's so cute and i really want to have this on my nightstand at home so yeah i picked that up and then um i picked up some cards so dad if you're watching this click out but I got my dad a card for Father's Day. Father's Day is in like a couple of months, so. You know, I'm planning ahead a little bit here, but look how cute this card is for Father's Day. It's like Miffy and Miffy's dad, and they're on an airplane, and it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this card. And then I don't know who I'm gonna give this card to yet, but I just thought it was so cute. It's like this Miffy birthday card. Look at Miffy with his little cake. I will give you guys a room tour after we have room service today. Is it called room service? What is it called? Oh, what is it? Oh yeah. After they make the room, I'm gonna do a room tour tonight. I kind of just roughly did the bed earlier myself, but they're gonna do a better job than me. So once everything is nice and prim and trim and proper, I'm gonna do a room tour for you guys because this room is very pretty. <laughs> Nike, please tell me what is Asian food. <laughs>
been a couple hours now. We kind of walked around the mall and then we came home and then we kind of just chilled at the hotel room a little bit. I did some work on my laptop while my boyfriend went to the gym. He's still at the gym now, so I thought it would be a perfect time for me to do a quick little room tour for you guys. They did clean the room while we were gone, so yeah, let me just show you guys around our cutie little room. So when you walk in, this is what the entrance looks like. There's a closet here. We do have some clothes in there already. And then this is kind of what you see when you walk in. And excuse, there's already like kind of a mess going on because we did unpack and obviously the hotel room is lived in now, but coming here on the right side here is our washroom that's what the washroom looks like and we have all of our products laid out wow the housekeeping here is good look at how they laid our products out but anyways so i have my skincare and makeup and hair products there and then um, on the right side here we have our standing shower toilet obviously mirror and then bathtub on this side i'm just chilling in my pajamas they're from lounge and i literally love when hotels have this lighting where they have one light on each side of the mirror it is just the most flattering lighting ever and i love doing my makeup when the lighting is like this i feel like i look like a little granny with this pajama set on but it's so comfortable i love it all right so making our way here, they gave us a stockpile of water, which is amazing because I hate running out of water at hotel rooms. There's a little mirror above the coffee station. Under here, we do have a fridge and it's seated in this gorgeous cabinet. I don't know if you guys can see the details here, but the cabinet is super stunning. It's so intricate. And then making our way here. Oh, there's like a full length mirror on this side, which is essential. Okay, so this is what the main bedroom area looks like. That is our bed. It is a king bed. And I just love the French walls here. I don't know what you call it. But like with all the squares, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure you can see the squares. And then that's how it looks like. We do have a pretty nice view. I'll show you guys the night view in a bit. TV here. And then this is where I've been doing my work. So yeah, it's gotten a little bit messy and lived in. But yeah, I did buy myself two big suitcases from Monos. Got the silver ones. I'll show you guys a better view probably sometime in the future. When I leave Singapore, when I pack up, I'll show you guys my suitcases. But I love them. They're gorgeous. They did get a little bit scratched up from like being checked. But that's okay. Anyways, um, moving on. So we do have big windows here blackout blinds and then this is what our view looks like from this side hopefully you can see that this is what the view looks like from this side and then on this side we just have like this big mall here i think this is a mall actually you know what it's definitely not a mall it's definitely like some kind of business building here this is how the room looks like from this end so that's my boyfriend's stuff here and then everything here is all mine i'm definitely a heavy packer you guys i have two big suitcases and one small suitcase but to be fair we're traveling for like three months okay and then singapore is like summer weather and then we're gonna go to other parts of asia that are like colder so i do need a pack for at least two seasons okay so a girl needs her stuff yeah that is our room cutie little room tour oh did i show you guys this Right here is the couch area. Okay, I think I did forget to show you guys that earlier, but yeah, we have a coffee table here as well. And then here I have my book. I'm reading The Nightingale from Kristen Hanna, and so far I'm liking it quite a bit. I've only gotten through like maybe a quarter of it so far, but I do like it. The book follows the story of two sisters during the war. I think it's World War II that we're going through right now, but... It's a pretty good book. I'm actually reading that with my sister. She also bought the book. We bought it together and then we're like, okay, we're gonna do like a little book club moment where we schedule how many chapters we're gonna read and how much time. So yeah, we're gonna read that together. It's kind of cute because like the book is also about sisters. I'm reading that right now, I really like to read before bed because it does kind of like take my mind outside of the stresses of my own life. And I like to just be indulged in like another story and then it kind of just, relaxes me even if the story is like not the most relaxing anyways if you read then you know what i mean 
But yeah, that is our room tour and I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come back. Um, I'm a little bit hungry. We did eat mala, what is it called? Mala tang or mala guo for lunch. We did eat that, but that was like hours ago and now I'm like a little bit hungry again. So I'm waiting for him to come back so that we can go and eat something. Maybe we'll get room service. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling lazy. I kind of want to stay home. morning it is a new day i actually woke up today at 4 a.m um because jet lag we fell asleep last night at around 10 p.m which i'm very proud of because i thought i was gonna be very tired and sleep by like 6 p.m but we slept at 10 p.m i got up at 4 and obviously i had nothing to do so i filmed some content <laughs> It's an awful house and I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan, right? We spent a couple hours at the pool but then it started to thunder and I was scared that we were going to get electrocuted by lightning so we left and then took a shower, we're all cleaned up and now we're eating sushi because we are starving One thing about swimming, I don't know what it is but it makes you so hungry so we're about to dig in. I think the seafood here is gonna be really fresh because Singapore is like coastal, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to eat the sushi. We're not at like a super fancy place or anything, but I think it'll still be pretty good. Welcome to a new day on the vlog. We are headed out. I'm gonna be heading to Raffles Hotel because I have a Revolve gifting suite to go to. I think they're gonna be gifting for tonight's event, but I really don't know what's gonna be going down, but I figured I'll show you guys the outfit for today. Today's outfit, I'm wearing my um, Yankees hat, and then my earrings are from Amazon. They are the fake Bottega. And then the top is a backless top. I think this top is from Garage or something. And then my bag is from Giacomo's. And the skirt is from Zara. It's actually a skirt, which is really nice. I fucking love skirts. They just make so much sense. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing my Adidas Sambas. They're a little bit dirty, so don't look too close. And yeah, I've just got my hair in this low bun. I feel like a hat and a low bun just looks so cute together. And we are ready to go. It's already like 2 p.m. I spent the morning filming some content. Also like this hotel room is so cold. Like I literally, we have a set, let me show you. We literally have it set to 30 degrees because it is so cold but i don't think that like does anything because i don't think the air conditioning got any warmer at all and the second you turn that off it becomes so humid like the air just becomes so humid and musty so you kind of have to have it on and i'm just freezing we literally just took the taxi down the road oh thank you because um it is raining so hard like it's literally pouring and then yeah we just paid like 10 dollars for a taxi to go down the block <laughs> Gifting sweets, and I left with a bag of 
goodies. Um, I already kind of have my outfits planned out for the event, so I kind of just picked up some cute clothes that I would just wear on my own. And then I also got like some products, which I'll show you when I get home, but now we are very hungry. And we are at the food court of like some mall nearby. It's called the Raffles City, Raffles City Mall. Can I just say that Raffles Hotel is absolutely breathtakingly stunning. Like I saw from the outside driving by yesterday and I didn't even expect the inside to be so breathtaking. So I definitely want to go back and take some content in the next few days, hopefully when it's not pouring rain. Singapore rain is absolutely crazy. It's like literally a shower. But yeah, so we're hungry, we're at a food court, and some of you guys told me on Instagram that I have to try the Kaya Toast. Yakun Kaya Toast. I noticed they have a couple stores around the city, and yeah, I'm gonna try the Kaya Toast. I got a cute little set here, and I'm gonna dig in and eat. bus stop there's a hunger games ad behind me but um i'm not naked this is the outfit <laughs> this outfit is so cute i love it the top is from a brand called set studio i think um but basically i've been just editing a video in my room the whole day we actually spent some time at the pool i didn't vlog that because it's like the same pool as like the last <laughs> day that we went to the pool um, but we're off to a hawker center, which I'm really excited for because last time we were at one, um, which is the only time that we went to one, it was part of our bus tour and it was super rushed and it started to like pour rain. Like I've never seen rain that hard. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no cape bar. It's an awful house And I want it to get you out I'm working on a plan right now Hello, it's a new day. I'm meeting Lauren. She's gonna go to the gifting. She did make some appointments for us to check out the gifting suite again. Hopefully there's still some stuff left. I know they were kind of running low, um, but she hadn't gone to the gifting yet. So I'm gonna go with her and then we're gonna go and have maybe like some salads or something. I literally have barely eaten any vegetables in the last like two weeks, which is kind of bad. I've been eating a lot of fruit though, so I'm hoping that kind of will keep me going. But yeah, we're gonna get some salads after and I'll take you guys along. I'm wearing my Tiger Mist set again because I didn't get any photos in that last time, typical me. Um, but I'm going back to the Raffles Hotel, which is where I'm meeting Lauren. That's where the gifting is. And the Raffles Hotel is an absolute castle it's like literally the most stunning building i've ever been in so yeah i want to go there force lauren to take some photos for me we're gonna get some content and then we're gonna eat hi cutie oh my god slay this outfit though hello <laughs> hi babe so we've arrived at the gifting suite i will show you quickly what this kind of looks like so here we have some products and some jewelry. I literally took like one of all of these because it's so cute and I love my gold jewelry. And then here we have our gorgeous Lauren. And then we've got some clothes in the back. Some red, some gold, some silvers. <laughs> it's fine, I'm, I'm making up for the times that I didn't come. There's two colors. Two colors. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. We've just got some more racks of clothing for us to go through. I saw a girl wearing this at the event the other day and she looked amazing. It's this long dress. I don't know if I should grab this one. I don't know if I'll look as good in it because it might not suit me, but it's quite cute. So I got the best. Yeah, you, you got a good lighting. Yeah, me and Lauren are like, oh. I know. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think mine's right. So the food is here. They're grabbing their food. Um, I'm still waiting on mine. I got a beef burger. 
or sorry, a beef burger salad. Yeah, we're just grabbing food after the Revolve gifting sweets, and we're just like talking. Oh my god, oh my different, god. making me And also it's matching. Like this ice cream is matching. Yeah. Well, your salad looks so good. Wow. Oh my gosh, you're so cute with your little cookie. Oh, you look so good. Gorgeous girls with their gorgeous food. <laughs> My makeup looks so good right now. Um, I kind of wish I filmed it, but I don't know. Whenever I'm getting ready for a serious occasion, filming it just stresses me out so much because I can't just like really take my time and focus on nothing but doing my makeup because I have to also focus on filming. Anyways, what I came on here to show you guys was my little setup for doing my hair because if you don't know, Singapore's plugins are nothing like Canada's plugins. So I basically can only plug my electronics into the outlets by the bed. That includes my hair tools. So I'm literally sitting on the bed with my mirror here trying, trying to curl my hair. So that's the situation right now. I'm not quite sure if I like how the top part of my hair is sitting. Like, I literally feel like this hair is making me look like I'm 60 years old. I have been putting so much heat in my hair lately. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl it all outward. Starting from, like, the lower half. Because I'm going to get smarter because they're going to have This is what the hair looks like. I actually don't know what it looks like. I have to go and look into the big mirror in a second. But on camera so far, I think it looks not bad. So I'm a terrible YouTuber and I didn't vlog my outfit for the first day even though it was the best outfit I had for all three events. However, I'll insert some photos here of what that looked like and it was beautiful and amazing and yeah. Today I'm going to be a good YouTuber and I'm going to show you guys my outfit before I put it on. So basically the theme for tonight is blue and white and silver. Um, I'll show you guys the outfit that I have. It's a little bit more on the casual side. I could make it work with my like full beef face and stuff. Basically it's like this two piece lace blue set. The top looks like this. It's basically entirely sheer except for the cup. And then the bottoms look like this. Yeah, cutie little light blue set. Unfortunately, I think my fake tan is slowly rubbing off. I felt like this light blue would have been so cute with a fake tan, but I think it's still going to slay. So I'm going to go ahead and put it that on and then get back to show you guys. Okay, so this is how the outfit looks. It is really quite cute. But yeah, I'm just snacking on these like kaya buns that I bought. I don't know if it's kaya or coconut actually. Either way, it tastes really good sorry i meant i didn't i don't know if it's kaya or pandan if you guys don't know kaya is like a coconut jam here in singapore it's delicious um anyways i've been snacking on these buns they're absolutely delicious i realized that i did not give you guys a haul of the stuff that i got from the gifting so i figured i'll show you guys right now before my camera decides to die on me so, the first thing that I got are these pimple patches from, um, from Starface. Now, I got these Starface pimple patches in case something decides to grow on my face. And then I got this top. This is just like a super basic cropped long sleeve top. I'm really trying to grow my basics collection because I realized that all of my clothes are like event clothing and I literally do not go to events guys I'm not even kidding so we're stocking up on basics this year and then <laughs> right after I talk about basics I pull out this which is the other item that I got not too basic but it's the super cute feathery top this is a size 2 which I don't know if I'll fit into it but yeah I did pick this up from the gifting it's so cute I like that there's like these long feathers do you see I think this top is so cute it would be so cute for an event or a dinner date or a night out 
This one is from the brand Alice and Olive. Oh, sorry. From This is from the brand Alice and Olivia by Stacy Bendet. It's a lot of names. And then this one is from All Saints. Next, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Body Cream. Can't wait to use that. I got a hand mask because I've never used one before and I like to have soft hands, so... I also picked up this Jizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I have this already back at home. It's starting to run low a little bit, so I picked up this one. And then I got these earrings, which is actually what I was looking for for my outfit. I got these like sparkly earrings. I'll put them on in a second to show you guys, unless my camera dies, in which case you'll have to see them in photos. Um, and then I got a lip oil from Kosas. Co Kosas? Kosas? And then, oh, wait, I have more gifting stuff, hold on. All right, this bag is from today's gifting. It's a huge bag, but there's like barely anything in it. So I got a couple items from, from Laura Mercier. I got two blushes and a contour stick, along with two of these like eyeliner pencil things. And then I think I also have, oh yeah, I also have two lipsticks here. I actually might use one of these tonight. They're either lipsticks or lip gloss. Oh, they're lip glasses. I got two face masks, one for me and one for Bay, so we can do a little like face mask spa night together. Okay, so this is a necklace. Oh, that's cute. I might wear this tonight, actually. Um, this is from the brand Etika. 18K gold plated. So from the brand Etika are these gold bracelets, which I also might wear tonight. But to be fair, it's from the gifting, so I think every girl might show up in these jewelry pieces, but we'll see. And then last but not least, I got another pair of earrings. Also from the brand Etika, and then they're just like these rhinestone hoop earrings. So cute. Yeah, that's everything I got from the Revolve gifting, and my camera's gonna die, so goodbye. Camera's not dead yet. I threw the earrings on. This is what they look like. It's so cute and pretty. They're even prettier on my ears than I thought they were gonna be. Um, anyways, yep, bye. I think I know. So one thing about me is I'm gonna stop by every single Miffy store. We have two Miffy's at home. I don't know if you guys remember. Those are from Hawaii, but we're gonna pick up these two. This one was picked out by Bay, and then this one is mine. Baby pink, and it's like towel, and this one is like, like rigid. And then look, there's like cushion. This is so cute. Like look, it's super soft. Got our dessert. Oh, it's so cute. So this one is marshmallow sky flavored, which I'm very excited about. Anything that's blue is just so like yummy looking to me. And then this one is churro flavored, and we got it on a waffle. I have arrived to the venue for the third night of the Revolve event, and we are situated at the Fullerton Hotel. And I must say that Revolve really knows where to pick their venues because this hotel is absolutely stunning. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. It's a new day. Um, I'm just standing in my hotel lobby right now. Today's the last day in Singapore. The last event for Revolve ended um, last evening. It was so much fun. Everybody looked amazing. I can't wait to show you guys the footage and the content on Instagram. But um, today's a new day and we figured that since this is our last day in Singapore, we're gonna go and check out the beach. So I found a beach club on Google and we're gonna head there. But before that, we're going to get some food. We had breakfast earlier and ate a lot, but I really wanted to try more food before we leave. So we're gonna get lunch at a place called I forgot the name, but they're known to have really good Hainanese chicken and like chicken and rice and just more traditional Singaporean food. So I really wanted to try that place and we're gonna head there for lunch and I'll take you guys with me.